I was going to ask you what your thoughts were on the valuation because you've definitely looked at a ton of businesses on the M&A side. You've sold businesses. You've looked at buying companies out of other big holding companies. And I'm just curious what your thoughts are on the valuation. Obviously, like 100 or 200 million in revenue definitely gets you up there. Like it sets a floor, uh, but then the EBITDA is so low. So, like if I were you, I would look at this and say, oh, 10 million EBITDA, cool. This company's worth, you know, 30 million. Yeah. Um, I think it's worth more than 30 million. I think they're 10x, and you know, the 10x, uh, I'm sorry, they were looking for uh, 7x sales. Yeah, top line. Uh, and I think that is absolutely bananas. Uh, Feels high. It's, uh, I'm just like, I don't know where this number is from. Like when I look at LVMH, and LVMH is uh, a poor, like, you know, they mentioned that for Dagny Dover, I think they said 70% of their sales were at full price. Yes. And not at discounts. Right. Which sounds good. Um, and, you know, when I think about brands that don't discount, I think about LVMH. Like, you never go to Louis Vuitton and they're like, free yeah. small purse with the purchase of <laughs> big one, right? Like, that does not happen there. That doesn't happen. In fact, every year you just expect those prices to sort of go up from a new, from a new uh, purchase perspective. Right. Like, the bags to just get more and more expensive. They traded a 20, and, and you know, LVMH is complicated because they have Louis Vuitton, but they have a bunch of other brands in there as well. They have Moet, they have Hennessy, mm -hmm. they have um, Tiffany's, you know, sure. they own a bunch of stuff. Yeah. They traded a 20x PE ratio. Uh, so like basically meaning whatever their earnings are, they traded, uh, whatever their earnings were, let's say last year, they traded 20x that. So if they were a billion, they traded 20 billion. The 20x top line? 20x earnings, EBITDA. Earnings. Okay, got it. Um, and so, you know, that that's a lot. And like, you know, 20x top line would be... Oh, so, so the way you got to think about it is, okay, um, if I put a dollar in here, or, uh, you know, how many years before the business earns that dollar and can pay it back to me? Right. Um, and so they're like, look, it, it'll, it'll take you 20 years to earn that dollar back. It's a four, sort of a 5% return if you think about it that way. Mm -hmm. um, this is like, you know... Look, I don't know enough Dagny Dover. I don't know if they did 10 million in 2022 and 100 million in 2023. They did 1 million in EBITDA in 2022 and 10 million in EBITDA in 2023. Right. If that's the Would case. Would that make a difference though? Yeah, yeah. Because then you're like, okay, it's 2024. You know, you did 100 million last year. Maybe this year you'll do 300 million mm -hmm. because you just grew 10x last year. This right. year you'll grow 3x. Next year you'll grow 1.5x. We see, like, you know, I can see all that happening. Right. And so I'm excited about it. And it would probably mean that in January of 2024, you probably had your best month ever. It was better than December. It was better than November 2023. Yeah. Uh, and then I'd be like, there's a lot of momentum to this brand. Even the holiday season, you did better in January than you did in November. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know how long, how long Dagny Dover has been around. And I don't know their history. If they're growing at less than uh, doubling every year, I think this valuation is absolutely crazy. I don't know how any like you know I don't know how anyone would pay it yeah. uh, because I don't know how anyone would be like great. You're if you're not doubling every year, if you're not going to do two hundred million and twenty to a bottom line this year, what's going on? Why am I writing such a big check for this? Yeah. And like, you know, think about it. if you're like an investor, you're like, who's going to buy this? For, like, you know, LVMH trades at a 20x PE ratio. You want a 70x <sighs> PE ratio. Bless you. You want a 70x PE ratio. 70 is insane. Yeah. You I know, always think about that too. Like who's going to, who's going to be the one holding the bag at the end? Yes. Yes. And I feel years. like if, if you were to invest at a 700, you're going to be the one holding the bag. At the yes. End. Yeah. I think that's really tough.